my name is Krista. Today I have some good news and some bad news. Bad news is I'm getting kicked off the dock. true I am getting kicked out of my slip this is the last day that I'm going to be here on this dock which is crazy because I've been here for almost four years now I think it's really sad and I can't believe that I'm actually leaving the good news is I get a new slip in the harbor they're doing a complete harbor renovation so all of the old docks are gonna be redone and a lot better I have to move all of my stuff from this slip to another slip across the way it'll be pretty easy to move all my stuff there I already cleaned cleaned out half of my dock box. Also, I'm pretty sure I fixed my dinghy. It's actually holding air again. Before I move the whole boat over there, I kind of want to cruise over there in the dinghy and take a look at the new slip. Let's go. I'm going to put my dinghy in the water, then get the prop on, put the battery onto the prop, and then we're going to cruise over and check out my new slip. Hopefully I don't sink in the dinghy. Wow, there's not even a lot of water in it. Yay! I mean, it works good enough for now at least. All right, let's put the battery in. I'm gonna grab the prop. Probably need to put some WD-40 on this side. We got the prop. Oh, almost dropped it. Oh, almost fell in. All right, gotta get stabilized. This thing is heavy, but not too heavy where I can't handle it. They just moved the boat out of mine. So you're moving? Yeah, I'm gonna go look at it right now. Good for you. Woohoo! <laughs> I need to clean this out. It's got some of the uh, corrosion in it, but it plugs into here. So, how to charge this real quick. I forgot it wasn't charged. We had some minor delays, but we're good now. Let's go check out the slip. I'll never be in again. We're going across the channel right now over to my new slip. I am very excited to see it. It's really not that far, so it should be easy to get over here. Oh, there's a little boat in it. Let's tie this off. Oh, we didn't quite catch that, did we? Uh, it will be in about an hour. I'm supposed to move here. I'm your new boat neighbor. Hi, nice to meet you. This is my new slip. It is a 35 foot slip. I'm only a 31 foot boat, so there's gonna be a little bit of extra wiggle room. That'll be really nice for keeping my dinghy behind it. Met a couple of my boat neighbors. Everyone here seems really nice. Let's go get the boat and put it in my new slip. So not only do I have to bring my boat over here and my dinghy, but I also have to get everything out of my dock box and put it in this dock box. So it's gonna be kind of a process. It's probably gonna take all day, but that's okay. Okay, so there was quite a current getting out of there just with my dinghy. I kept scraping along the side. We're gonna go get the sailboat. We're gonna put it in the new dock. And I think that's gonna be where we're gonna be for probably like three years or something. It seems we kind of lost our sunshine. I know it doesn't look that cloudy this way, but as soon as I turn around, you can see it's pretty cloudy. So we lost our sunshine, but that's okay. It's still pretty warm. Here's the plan. I'm going to start up the boat. We're gonna drive it over to my new slip, get it all docked, and then I'm gonna walk back over the bridge, come over here, get my dinghy and all the stuff from my dock box, and then we should officially be moved over. Let's do it. As always, when we go somewhere, even if it's just across the way, puppy life fest. Come here, Mel. All right, now listen, we've got some new boat dog neighbors. 
so you can't be barking at them when we go meet them, okay? You have to be nice. And I'm talking to you, Kiki. Come here, Kiki. No, we're putting your vest on. You're not digging in the pillow. We're putting on your vest. Puppies are ready to go. Let's go to my new slip. First, we have to start the boat. She started up, let's get the lines onto the boat and head on out of here. So this is kind of crazy. Instead of taking the shore power off of the back and putting it onto the dock here, I'm taking it off the dock and putting it onto the boat to take with me over to the new slip. You coming to check on me, Maui? I see you. All right. Oh my gosh, there's like spider webs. Ew. Okay, well. Oh my god, I really hope there's not a spider. Oh, there's so gonna be spiders. Okay, there's definitely spider stuff on it. Uh, let me brush it off real quick. Nasty, I got the spider stuff off, it was nasty. Okay, so this is now gonna go onto the boat. That's so crazy. I'm not coming back, that's so sad. Let's get these lines off the dock, get the boat ready to go out. We're turning the wheel all the way to the left because when we back out, we want it to go that way. We're gonna send up the drone. Right, we did it. And I think I got that on the drone too, which is good. I still hear it up there. So we're heading over to my new slip. This is crazy. All right, I'm trying to get around this big seaweed lump, which is why you see me closer to this other boat. There's a big chunk of seaweed. I am not trying to get in my prop. We have to look both ways. Do we see any boats coming? No, we don't. We're really close to the slip, it's not that far. We're kind of going really, really, really slow just because I wanted to get the drone shot set up. It's gonna be like a nice wide turn, super slow. Someone once told me, never go faster than you wanna hit something, right? There's not too much wind right now, so it should be pretty easy getting into the slip. We're gonna make a nice wide turn and then you turn it in. Hi, Ken! Here I come! <laughs> All right, so my first time ever going into this slip, Give it a nice wide turn. We'll slow us down a little bit. Straighten us out and then hit that reverse. Wow, there's a lot of room here in this slip. Good enough for me to jump off. We made it! Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll figure out the exact placement eventually. So where do the batteries go on your dogs? The batteries? <laughs> yeah, my little toy dog. Yeah. I wish they had batteries. Then the one that's in pink, when she gets barking too much, I can just shut her off. We whipped it in there like it was nothing. Good job. Well, thank you. All right, now before my drone runs out of battery, let me fly it down. You got a box that was still over there. Got a what? Yeah. Box. Yep, I cleaned it out the other day. There's still a lot of stuff in it. I'm gonna go walk the bridge and get my dinghy and put some stuff in the dinghy and then dinghy the stuff over here. Oh, so, go. it'll work. But not too much, pretty much just my cleaners, a couple brushes, my hose, a couple spare parts. That's pretty much all that's left. Maui's the sweetheart. I explain it like she will kiss the robber of the house and she will bark at friends and family. That's like their personalities. Okay, we successfully made it into the dock. Let me show you guys. The first thing we're gonna do is turn off the boat. Kiki is hiding down under here because there's another big dog on the dock. 
she's uh, a little nervous about. Look how much room is on this. I can literally put my dinghy in the front here probably, or pull the boat up and put the dinghy behind, which honestly I think I'm leaning more towards putting the dinghy behind the boat. I don't want anyone crashing into the back of it. So look how much room is on this side. Our first time ever going into the dock was a success. Thank you to my uh, boat neighbor, Ken. He helped me get the lines and stuff. I'm gonna readjust. I think I'm gonna pull my boat forward a little bit more. That way I can easily put my dinghy behind the boat. First, actually, we have to plug in my shore power. Kiki's already met some new ducks over here. Come here, duckies. Oh my goodness, hello. Look it. I don't know if these are the same ducks or not. There's your duck. So the shore power is on the opposite side of my old slip, so I have to reroute everything real quick. It works. In my old slip, the wind would push onto the uh, starboard side of the boat. It would push my port side into the dock, so I had like four fenders on that side. Now it's gonna be pushing on the port side of my boat onto the starboard side of the dock, so I need to move all my fenders over there. So I have these two fenders here now. It would be really nice if I had a cleat like right about here, because there's one way over there and way up here. It's a 35 foot slip. My boat's only 31 feet. The cleat's not exactly where I want it, but you know, it's fine. This big fender is the one that I want. I'm gonna put it right in here. There we go. And then I'm gonna cleat off right there. I can't wait to see what the view is when the sun is out because right now we're getting the marine layer of fog. Let's go get my dinghy and the stuff in my dock box. Kiki's bringing a bone with her. They're not used to jumping it. Puppy briefcase. Here we go. One thing I noticed about being on the island side is you can definitely hear the howl of the wind. All the duckies. On the bridge, they still have flags up from 4th of July. I hope they leave them up all year though, because they just look so good. Here's the barge and the crane. Some of the new docks they've installed. This is a lot more beautiful when it's not as foggy, but it's still absolutely gorgeous. This is the one of the last times I'm gonna be walking down this dock. That's kind of crazy. My boat's not there. Oh my gosh, my boat is gone. I'm gonna move my dinghy over to here so I can load stuff from my dock box into it. Oh, and my steps too. I gotta put my steps in my dinghy too. Boat's gone, there's no boat. I'm gonna try to do this all in one trip, so I'm thinking let's do the bulky stuff first, so I'm gonna put the stairs in first. In here, you can see I've got a hose and just a bunch of extra stuff. I'm gonna try to get all that in here. I had some of these. I was looking for these the other day. I ordered like a hundred of them, but I knew I had some. That's it, out of the dock box. I'm officially leaving the dock. I almost forgot my mat. I'm not forgetting my mat. Shake it out though. Bunch of crap on it. This is one of my old dock lines. Dingy's ready to go. Let's head over to my new spot. Come out, Kiki, come on, let's go. We're going in the dinghy. Go. Come out. There you go. Let me untie over here. I've been there for years. It is really gonna be different and strange 
not being at the same location. It's a good thing because eventually we're gonna have brand new docks here and it's gonna be awesome. This is kind of sad. I've spent every 4th of July there. I'm sad and happy about it. Here's my pirate flag. We made it. Crash landing. I think I can actually just tie it to the dock instead of actually to my boat. I think the plan is to get as much stuff from my dinghy onto my back swim step. That way I'm not jumping in and out of the dinghy constantly. This is like when I go get groceries on a trip in Catalina and go back to the mooring room where I'm anchored. I load everything onto the back swim step. Hi, duckies. Oh my goodness, look at you all. Hello. Kiki can't handle not seeing the ducks. I should wait on this, it's too heavy right now. Get more stuff out first. I think this dock is a lot higher than my old one too. I'm literally just moving piles of stuff from one place to another place to another place. Finally into the new dock box. This is tiring. Ignore the bird poop. Hey, Millie. I'm officially in my new dock. That was exhausting, moving everything over here, but we did it, successful. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.